Welcome back. In this Python tutorial, we will continue our Plotly Dash series with examples of how to use callbacks in your Plotly Dash dashboards. Callback functions work with or connect to core component widgets. When a widget is changed or updated, this will activate the callback function and update the output. In our last tutorial, we focused on Dash core components or widgets. For this tutorial, we will use the same code examples, but we will focus on callbacks. If you would like to see each of these examples in action, check out my tutorial Dash Core Components. Also, the code for all of these examples will be on GitHub. To create a callback, we use the decorator at app.callback. Next, inside the callback round brackets, we consider the outputs and the inputs that we will be working with. So for example, using the dropdown and graph, the output will be the dash core component graph and the ID of the graph will match the component ID from the callback output. For the callback output component property, we will assign figure to update the graph figure. The input is the dash core component dropdown with the ID of dropdown, which matches our callback input component ID dropdown. For the callback input component property, we assign value because we will use the value from the dropdown. Next, we create our function that works with the decorator. In this example, we use the dropdown to change a country. We want the chart to update based on the new country. To do this, we create our function argument, country, which is based on the dropdown value. Then we filter our data frame to include only the country chosen from the dropdown and create a plotly express line chart with the filtered data frame. Finally, we return our chart or graph figure. Let's do a quick review on how to connect the dash core components or widgets to a callback, or you could think of it as creating an interaction between the widget and function. First, let's take a look at the output. The output will be the graph or chart here. We want to make sure the ID matches the callback output component ID, and it does. We can see both IDs have the name graph with dropdown. Same thing goes for the input. The input is the dropdown with the ID name dropdown, which matches our callback input component ID dropdown here. If you are unsure of what to use for the component property, Check the Plotly Dash documentation for examples or use print with help and put in the dash element you are researching. We will run a couple of these examples just to show how they work. As mentioned previously, to see all the examples in action, check out the last tutorial, Dash Core Components. Let's look at another example with the slider. We will use the value of the slider for the input. The ID is slider and it matches our callback input ID. The output is a HTML div with an ID of slider output, which matches our callback output ID slider output. And our function that works with the decorator returns the value from the slider squared. You will notice the same pattern applies for all of our examples here.
You can also pass components into callbacks instead of IDs, which we might cover in a future tutorial. That's all we have for this tutorial. Join us again next time.